Hey everybody and welcome to the new video and guys today I am super excited once again because we are going to be reviewing the iSteady Mobile. Uh, this is a stabilizing gimbal for your smartphone um, if you're out and about filming with your phone and you need a tripod. We all know those little handheld tripods that uh, people have but the problem with that is that when you're walking around it could get kind of wobbly. So basically as you can see right here and I'm going to give an unboxing and review of it is you put it in here, you put your smartphone in here, and basically this thing right here, it uses technology to basically stabilize your phone so you can move it however you want and the phone will stay steady when you are going to be filming. Super clean and smooth video. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna open this and we're gonna review it. Thank you so much to Hohem for reaching out to me and letting me test your product today. So when you open it right up, it comes in a nice, Belt. Yeah, this is, I'm not sure what material this is, but it's a really nice case. Um, it's nice quality too. It's not one of those cheap like a, like Walmart cases that you find. So right here, you open it up and there's this right here. It looks super nice. You have your warranty card. You have your instruction menu. And then here is the actual unit. Okay, so, oh, right, yeah, see, it's a bit, so this right here is basically what's going to stabilize it and then here is something that you can screw into the bottom and it acts like a nice little tripod for you to set down. So here is the gimbal and it's set up on the little tripod stand and that's for what we're going to do next. Uh, I did spend about like 20 minutes charging it up with a nice little micro USB that it came with and in order to turn it on you have to hold down this nice little power button that has here but we're not going to do that just yet because right now we are going to adjust it with the smartphone. Okay, so now we have the smartphone inside of the gimbal, but as you can see right now it looks, it's kind of all over the place, it's not really stabilized at all. And that's what we're gonna do, we're gonna adjust it. So right here you should find a nice little knob that you could unscrew, and that will give you the ability to just slide this entire thing in this little joint socket thing that you have right here. And that is how you will find your focus point. So you kind of have to play around with it. You have to find the point where it just stays still. So now, if I go like this, it'll eventually swing for a while and then it'll go back right to that main point where it'll focus. Now for the next part of the setup, we're gonna stabilize this part right here because this is the first part where it spins and then this is the second. Right here, you're gonna see these two clamps that hold the iPhone or smartphone, whatever device you're using in, and then basically you wanna push it side to side. And that is how you are going to play around with it. All right, and that seems good. We have the first adjustment and second adjustment. And now, our camera is fully stable. All right, so this is what you will see on the gimbal. And as you can see, there's different little markings right here. And these are basically the four different modes of filming that you could do. And I'm just gonna give you a review of each one. All right guys, so the first one is called pan following mode. And this can be achieved by clicking this button right above the power button once. And uh, you could read the little menu and there's little dots in which you can see how many times you have to press the button. For example, this first mode, you would press it once, this mode twice, three, four. And so PNF mode is basically the default mode. Uh, what it is, the tilt and roll axis are both locked and the camera can move left to right smoothly. So I'm just gonna record a little sample video for you guys so you could see exactly how this version works. I'm start recording now. See how I'm moving the phone all over the place? It's staying very stable, but it's, as you can see in the video, it's super nice and I could even... <laughs> I look ridiculous right now, but I'm just trying to show you guys how good this gimbal is with stabilizing your videos and it doesn't look like the video is shaky at all. It's super nice, it's super stable and you could just, just looking at it right here, you could see how the phone is basically just staying in one position. It's really nice, it's really, it's really good, it's working super well. All right guys, so the next mode of filming we have is pan and tilt following mode. On the menu, you could find it as PTF, and it can be achieved by pressing that same button twice. Basically, for this mode, the roll axis is locked, the camera can move left to right and tilt up and down as well. So in the previous version, it wasn't able to tilt down like how you're seeing right there. With this version, you 
can do that. So obviously when you're out and about filming, you would want to pick the right version on whatever is going to be filmed right in front of you. So if you need to like get a shot up at the sky, you would probably want to enable this version because if you had the other one, you would film upwards, but then the phone would just stay right where it's at. Okay, right, so I'm currently filming in pan and tilt following mode. And I'm just gonna give you guys a little preview on what you guys are seeing. Like I said, you could film up and down, you could film down to the ground, something that the other version was not able to do. Moving on to the next version of filming, we have all locked mode and you could press the button three times. And basically how this works is that the phone is locked where it's at. This is probably the most stable one out of all of them in the sense that if you wanna keep the camera in one specific spot, so basically if you want to focus on one thing and you know that you're not going to be changing your like angle on what you're filming and you're not going to be changing direction and you're just focused on one thing at all times, this is definitely the version that you want to be looking for. So here is all locked mode. As you can see, I'm going all over the place. I'm tilting upwards, I'm tilting downwards. It's not moving at all. It's staying all in the right spot. Like I said, this is a very good version if you just want to film what's right in front of you. And the last version we have today is all following mode and this can be achieved by pressing that same black button four times. What's good for this mode is that the tilt axis, roll axis, and pan axis all follow. So basically I would say this is probably the more fluid one. While this is a stabilizer, of course there are going to be different versions. I know that a lot of people like to record on tripods but they also want to make it like more handheld feel. It's probably the closest you will get to making it seem like you're holding the camera while also having the nice satisfaction of a tripod at the same time. So as you can see by this version, it is very fluid and it moves all over the place and it gives a feel like as if you're holding the camera in your hand, but you're not really. So this kind of gives more of like a natural feel to the camera. All right, for this next portion of the video, I have this right on a tripod and I'm going to show you what exactly this joystick right in the middle does. So sometimes when you're filming with the gimbal, it will get slightly off track. And as you could see, the bar that comes out right here is not exactly in line with how we want it. Because this arm right here is supposed to be straight ahead of this little menu button right here. And also the camera is not supposed to be tilting down. So we could do some manual adjustments by using this little joystick right here. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just turn it like that and you could move it side to side. And then if you go up or down, you could then adjust this top part right here. This feature is not only good for adjusting your camera whenever it gets off, but also just general filming. If you wanna get like a very smooth shot, you could definitely do it when you control it with this nice little joystick right here. It's very fluid and in the camera it looks very nice and it looks like it's being controlled like a, like a security cam per se. So here in the video, we are going to go left, we're gonna go right, we're gonna go up and we're gonna go down. And it's yet another great feature about the gimbal. Okay, so for the next portion of the video, we are going to be using the app that comes with the gimbal as well as the Bluetooth. If you go onto the app store, you can look up Hohem Gimbal and this is the app that you're going to be looking for. Just hit download and it'll get started right away. Once you've downloaded the app, you wanna to go to your settings and Bluetooth and you're going to be seeing this prompt. You're gonna click it and then your gimbal should connect right away. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the zoom slider. Basically what you wanna do is just wanna push it up or down, and if you connect through the app, it will allow you to zoom in and zoom out. This is a really good feature because if you've ever filmed with a smartphone, you might understand how hard it is or difficult it is and finicky per se. It is to do the zoom effect, but with this nice little gimbal, your Bluetooth will allow you to do that hands-free and all you have to do is just keep your hand here and you don't even have to touch your phone at all. Alright, so the next feature we have is taking a photo and video with this Bluetooth gimbal. The first thing we're going to do is take a photo and that can be achieved by pressing the power button once. There's not exactly any fancy animation when you take a photo, but when you hit this button, a photo will automatically be saved to your camera roll. Moving on to videos, it's basically the same thing as taking a photo except you double click it. And now, as you can see, the red dot has popped up and you are filming away. And then this is a good opportunity to you know, use your gimbal like how I showed you. And then when you're done filming, you just double click it once again and the video stopped and it says save success. And that video has been automatically saved to your camera roll. 
All right, so the next thing we're gonna be looking at is face tracking. This is what I've been most excited about. This button right here, it looks like a little face. Basically, you wanna click it and then you hit this button. And now, I guess I'll just show you guys what it does because this is the best way to show it. Okay guys, so the face tracking is enabled and watch what happens when I walk around my room. So as you can see, it is following me when I walk around. The camera follows wherever I go. And this is a super cool thing to have. I know this is super helpful for a lot of YouTubers and people who create videos because there are times where you just need to get a shot of yourself and you might not have anyone there to film for you, but this lets you do just that. See that? And it does a pretty good job of filming wherever I'm at. It follows me around. Well, I cannot, I cannot tell you how impressed I am with this technology and this super nice gimbal. And it's, and it's also good for, um, for say, live streaming yourself. If you need to do a presentation and you just need to go around filming yourself and it follows you up and down as well. Wow, this is super nice. I love this. On top of face tracking, they also have object tracking. So um, I'm testing this on my PlayStation controller only because I didn't really have anything else to test it on. Uh, but yeah, basically you saw I clicked this little, sorry, you can't really see, this little square at the bottom with the dot in the middle. You wanna click that and then this little prompt will come up. I'll just do it again for you guys. Click it and then you basically highlight what you wanna be tracking. And there you go, as you can see, the camera is automatically looking at it. I'm gonna pull it over here. I would say that it's not as accurate as the face tracking, only because with the face tracking technology, they like go off of your eyes and your nose and stuff like that. While the object, like every single object you're gonna be tracking looks a little different. Here, let's try it again. I'll see, it did follow it over there. As I pull it, the gimbal follows it. So that's another really good feature. So guys, that concludes my review of the iSteady MOBO gimbal. I would say it's a really nice gimbal and I highly recommend it. I know that I'm definitely gonna be using it for filming and there's just so many things that I could imagine doing with this. There's a lot of more features about this that you should go look up. I know that I'm just getting started on this and I cannot wait to see what else I could do with this thing. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you could go and get it yourself and you could try it. Uh, again, I really think you should get it because it's super nice and I know that my videos are going to be so fun to film with this now and yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope this was informational to you and I hope that you learned something. Uh, if you liked it, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in the next video.